Yo guys, what's up? It's X-Rays and welcome back to another video. So I was thinking about doing kind of like a little mini series once a week that it's just talking about the biggest pieces of news that we've gotten for Modern Warfare 2 and for Warzone 2 and just for COD in general uh, over the past week. So I want to talk about some of the new stuff that came out, some of the issues that people have been seeing pop up. Uh, and some of the bigger stories so we'll start off here with cod leakers claiming that cod ghost spinoff is coming uh to modern warfare 2 and it's being made by modern warfare 2 devs so we'll talk about this all of these articles will be over on charlie intel uh, so if you want to see these i will have them linked in the description below but let's talk about it so this is kind of a big one so a while ago we did have a leak and i made a video on this but basically talking about how Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is going to get a year two. We all know that in 2023, we are not going to get a game from a mainline studio uh, because it was supposed to be, I believe it was supposed to be a different developer and then it got pushed back. So they decided to actually push Treyarch's game into 2024. So a lot of people were kind of under the impression that we are going to get just the second year of Modern Warfare 2. There was a rumor that there was actually campaign DLC coming. Uh, this was, I think, even before the actual release of the game. And then we had a leak that came out saying that, in fact, we are going to get some sort of premium paid content for Modern Warfare 2 in uh, 2023. Now, the thing that was interesting about this was, I believe they said that it was being made by Raven Software was the claim that came out. So it looks like now a little bit of information for that has come out and it might actually be just campaign, like a, just a story, an isolated story you can buy, who knows for how much money, but it looks like at least for now, if this rumor holds up and is true, that it would be a spinoff of uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. So I think a lot of people like Ghost, a lot of like, especially with the newest Modern Warfare games that came out. Uh, a lot of people have kind of been reignited with that interest and that uh, he's got a lot of a lot of fan attention right now, a lot of hype, a lot of interest uh, as he has in the past and with 2019 and now here with uh, Modern Warfare 2022, again, a lot of fan interest in Ghost. I think it's a smart move for them if they are, in fact, working on a campaign that is a Call of Duty Ghost spinoff type thing, maybe a retcon kind of like they've uh, they've done with Modern Warfare 1 and 2. A kind of uh, a retconning of it same characters different story they could do something with it they could totally go and say hey you know what that story that we had for cod ghosts maybe now we're going to have a retelling of it or a retcon of it but now with our alex riley or our ghost from 2022 being the main protagonist maybe he makes his own group of ghosts uh, there was kind of a teaser for this in the campaign where they had the one mission where everyone was wearing a ghost mask. So it's interesting. I think it would fit. I believe maybe they did tease it in the campaign and we could see something like that as well. So we'll see if this is true. But uh, if it's true that we do get kind of like a Simon slash Alex Riley, maybe a conclusion to that story of who's actually... Uh, who is Ghost? Who's under there? Is it Alex from Modern Warfare 2019? Is it Simon Riley? Is it someone totally different? We don't know. There was a leak uh, a, a little bit ago of the voice actor. I believe they did like a facial scan on him so that they could do the, the movements of his mouth and facial features, etc. And so they had that and people were like, is this what Alex Riley looks like or what Ghost looks like? And no, they just had that so they could capture the movement. So that's not really what he looks like. That was just the voice actor. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think about that. Would you be down for a COD Ghost spinoff campaign uh, primary or, or premium content here for Modern Warfare in 2023? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so the next thing, one that just came out, obviously with Call of Duty doing a collaboration type thing or at least acknowledging the World Cup, uh, they did finally start releasing the new operators for Messi, Pogba, and also for Neymar. So all three of them are going to be available in the store. You can buy all three of them. Uh, personally, I don't really like to buy skins, so I won't be buying it. But for a lot of you guys, maybe it'll be worth it. I think a lot of them have like special tracer rounds and, you know, stuff like that. So it could be worth it for you guys. For me, not so much. Now, this is also in association with the other World Cup stuff that Call of Duty is doing right now. They do have still that fan event, fan support event where you pick which soccer team or which football team you think is going to win their match. It was totally wrong on Ghana, South Korea. But if you get two of them right, you get a blueprint. If you get four of them right, you get another blueprint. 
Uh, so it's still pretty cool that they're doing that. And then the final one, they did leak that there might be a Rocket League type mode coming to Modern Warfare 2. There was even, I think, some gameplay that was leaked where you're playing on ATVs and you're trying to bounce a soccer ball into goals. So we'll see if that ends up happening, but it actually looked kind of cool and I'd be down to try it out. But yeah, so we do have these new bundles in the store. So let me know if you're going to be getting either one of these messy Pogba or uh, Neymar. Are you getting any of them or not? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so the other thing that just happened, they actually have re-released Warzone 1. So as you guys know, uh, or maybe you didn't know, Warzone 1 was kind of put on hiatus for a little bit. They wanted to make sure that Warzone 2 was out. They focused on it, any issues that it might have. It still has a lot of issues, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But uh, now with kind of Warzone 2 getting its feet on the ground, getting a little bit of stability with it, it looks like Warzone 1 is now back. So if you want to play on Caldera, you can do that now on PS4, PS5, and PC. So if you deleted it, you can feel free to re-download it now, and you should be able to jump back on. Do keep in mind, there is no Rebirth Island. I think that is gone permanently, at least for a while. We'll see what happens with that. But um, if you maybe just don't like Warzone 2 or maybe DMZ isn't working for you, you don't like it, I've been enjoying DMZ a lot. I've actually played only DMZ and not a single game of Warzone 2.0. I don't know why, I've just been enjoying it so much. My, my brother likes it, my nephew likes it, we play it all the time. It can get frustrating, but most of the time we just have a lot of fun completing challenges, running around, and then the occasional meeting into people and getting wrecked uh so i like dmc but if you don't caldera warzone caldera is back you can jump back on there and you know if you want to play og style warzone without the changes that we have in warzone 2.0 the other looting system the other movement mechanics if you want just the old feeling you can do that and jump on now and play warzone caldera again if you wanted to we'll see what happens all right, so we have a new glitch that is going on in Warzone 2. Prior to this one, what you're going to be talking about is the infinite gas mask that is having people get easy wins. They just kind of hide in the gas with their infinite gas mask. But prior to this, they did have a money glitch that was letting you get like $1.3 million in a DMZ in Warzone 2.0. People are using it to get a ton of XP and they patched that very quickly. And it looks like this is now another issue that has been found with the gas mask that is just allowing people to have a gas mask that never runs out. So hopefully this does get addressed. Uh, I, I always never have an issue with a bug. If it's something that's helping you do something easier, like level up a weapon or something that isn't affecting someone else's gaming experience, even the money one, I was it was kind of sus because you would run into people with like triple armor plates and large backpacks and DMZ, uh, and you would run into people with like the god tier stuff, LTVs with turrets and a bunch of kill streaks. So that was a little kind of messed up. I was mostly using uh, that bug, uh, we're gonna call it, to complete some challenges. That's all I was doing. I was never using it to fight other people. But even then, that was kind of borderline. This one is kind of like, I mean, who's this gonna benefit? Only people who wanna hide in the gas and wait for people to die or kill people from the gas. So, in my opinion, this one kind of sucks and is more game-breaking than money you can use to get XP. So, uh, let me know what you guys think, but this new uh, glitch is out. People are figuring, figuring it out, and hopefully it does get patched sooner rather than later. Alright, so the other thing that they uh, are going to be adding here to Warzone 2, and I believe also in Modern Warfare 2, is going to be the new CDL packs for all the different Call of Duty League teams. Um, one of the teams that is going to be promoted as well is going to be uh, 100 Thieves. Now, Nadeshot tweeted about this, that so he's excited for this to come out. But the other day, which is going to be kind of like our main and final story, Nadeshot did get pretty mad. Uh, he was doing a live stream where they were trying to complete the Warzone 2 nuke. For you guys that are unaware of that, it's, a, it's basically a nuke that you can set off that you can only do if you have completed uh, multiple wins in a row. I believe it's uh, four wins in a row, and then on your fifth one, you're able to do the nuke. I might be wrong. Like I said, I have not played Warzone 2.0 at all, but this is kind of hard to do. If you guys are average players, probably never going to be able to do this because it's so hard to actually win, uh, And because especially with skill-based skill matchmaking. A lot of people are doing the same thing, trying to get two three wins in a row. Now imagine trying to get the fourth and then the fifth one to try to get the nuke. Uh, it's pretty difficult and it looks like a lot of people are just having issues running into the dev errors, the game crashing. Uh, when you do that, you lose your stuff in DMZ. I've had that happen to me. It sucks. You lose all your crap. 
Now in Warzone, it sucks even more because you got to get multiple wins in a row to even be able to start this Easter egg for the nuke that ends the game. And it looks like Nade Shot wasn't so happy because they crashed multiple times while they were trying to complete it. And he went on a little bit of a rant over on his Twitter account. Um, it's it was it was pretty crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys the video. He did actually come out after that and mention that, hey, you know, I was in heated in the moment and I didn't mean to say those things. And he wanted basically he wanted the devs not to feel like he was targeting them specifically, but he was pretty heated. So this is what he said in game, bro. You sit here for fucking nine hours trying to do this. Shit. We get to the fifth fucking game and my shit crashes on a fucking state of the art PC. 3090, I9 maxed out, specked out, five grand on this fucking thing for this dumbass fucking game to crash. Jesus Christ, I just spent my whole day trying to get this goddamn thing. I mean, I know I sound like a whiny little bitch about a video game, but Jesus Christ, fix your fucking shit. You just made a billion dollars! And you've done it every year! Every fucking year! You have made a billion plus dollars from this game and i can't even fucking play it holy shit. so nade shot did actually come out and apologize uh for that basically uh as you guys can see in the tweet it says on some real i lost my cool here this is, this ain't a pr tweet nobody messaged me to backtrack nothing like that Watching this back out of context um, of the moment is embarrassing for me. Warzone 2 is a lot of fun. I really do love the game and this makes me sound ungrateful. And then he did follow that up by, you know, basically apologizing to the developers of this and saying, you know, hey, if you watch this clip independently, you'll have missed the hours and hours where I praise the game. It's not perfect. There are a lot of bugs, but it's a gr it's a great addition to the franchise. I don't want any IW employees to feel as if their hard work has gone unnoticed. Chasing after the nuke was one of my favorite Call of Duty experiences yet and probably the most creative Battle Royale content event to date. The map is the best of all iterations of Warzone 1. If you worked on this game at IW or Activision, please don't take my words personally. So that's kind of what it is. He was frustrated and it's understandable. I was frustrated and all I do is play DMZ when, when the game crashes and I lose my stuff. So I can only imagine not even imagine what it would be like to win four games in a row and then when you're on your fifth one the game crashes and you got to do it all over again so yes warzone 2 needs help yes it needs ish it has issues and it needs fixes um and i think the base thing there and again i haven't played warzone 2.0 but from what i understand from other friends that i have who do play it they like that it's different from warzone 1 they like the the contextual looting um and you know it's it's interesting we'll see what happens I've gotten used to the looting system now in DMZ. Can it be annoying? Yes, uh, but you know, you get used to it. And like I said, Nate Shot, or I should say, like Nate Shot said, he's pretty happy with Warzone 2. He just had a moment where the game crashed and all that hard work was done. So, so hopefully it is a little bit more stabilized in the future, but it is what it is. And Nate Shot recognized that. And he did apologize, which I think was the right move to make because a lot of developers work on these things. And, you know, it sucks, and they are frustrated, and they're working on it. I've talked to developers previously with Warzone 1. They are keenly aware of the issues. They are working on it. They are, a lot of them said the word embarrassed, that they just felt embarrassed, especially if I believe what happened with Caldera when that first came out. They said that they were incredibly embarrassed by that launch. I think Warzone 2 has had a little bit of a smoother launch than Caldera had, but, like I said, you know, this is a, this is a thing. It's an, it's an ever-changing thing. So hopefully it does get fixed and the frustrations can kind of start going down. But anyways, guys, that is all the news we have here for this week. If we get more, then I'll talk about it next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak and Aim Controller. I use them every single time that I play Code OGX where you get to a discount. If you guys want to support me directly, you can also do it through Amazon or G2A. Links down below to both of them. Follow me on Twitter if you guys want to talk and interact, see what I'm up to. Or if you just want to say hey. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.